Hello everyone, this is Luis from Fundalaser. Today I'm going to show you how to get started on your first project using our Roller Light marking machine. Just take the coloring as an example. Now let's move on. First, connect to a power source and a computer. Make sure that the device is safely placed on the workbench and the light burn software has been installed. The material we choose is the titania plant. Don't forget to make the surface clean. A sportly surface can make a better result. Now let's continue. First, turn the key to the on position. Second, put the emergency battle clockwise. When you see the on light flashes, then press the on button and the light is always on. That's a successful startup. When ready, it show on the light button. Open light button and import the setup parameter file. Fill in the important parameters, including speed, max power, frequency, unidirectional or bidirectional field, DPI, number of passes. Take the first layers as an example. The speed is 380 mm per second. The frequency is 100 kHz. The max power is 25%. It's the unidirectional field. Line interval is 0.02 mm. Number of passes is 2. Meanwhile, on our official website, click on the knowledge base and then click on the laser setting. There are some useful parameters this about. It's very suitable for the newcomers. Of course, you can also import the setup parameter file. Then, place the titania plate in the working area. Put the manual focusing ruler of the machine into the base. Use the zig axis button of the control panel to control the elevation of the fill mirror. When the button of the manual focusing ruler touches the object, then the focusing is complete. Confirm that the parameters are correct. Select all the layers that need to be marked in light burn. After clicking Start, a framed marking area appears in the working area. Align the titanium plant to the framed area. You can click on different preview boxes. The preview allows for precise positioning. Next, you can officially start marking. Click the Start button in the software. The laser marking machine will start the laser marking process. Adjusting laser parameters such as power, pulse frequency, and speed affects the microstructure of the metal surface. These microstructures can alter the reflection of light, resulting in different colors on the surface. Precise control of these parameters is the key to achieving color marking. Now it's time to show off our samples. That's all for this introduction. Follow up and draw your comments. See you next time.